As I begin to reach graduating age, I am getting a bit nostalgic for some parts of high school I am soon to lose, and when I get nostalgic, one quote always comes to mind. It is from the book 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and it goes as such. He thought about his people without sentimentality, with a strict closing of his accounts with life, beginning to understand how much he really loved the people he hated most. As the man Marquez is describing is about to be executed, I do not situationally relate to this quote. However, after reading it, it struck me greatly, and I have not been able to get it out of my head ever since. For me, it has come to define nostalgia. This is one small example of many that demonstrate the way that literature has affected the way I think. As an aspiring English teacher, there is no question to me why students in high school and middle school should be exposed to literature. However, for those of you who may not share my passion, it may beg the question, why should literature matter to everyone? Before I attempt to answer that question, however, I feel it is important to make a distinction between genre and literary fiction. It is considered that genre fiction provides an escape from the world through a story, and literary fiction provides a means of understanding the world better through an emotional journey. The way I see it, in a genre novel, the plot affects the characters, while in a literary novel, the characters affect the plot. Now, the books shown on my slide are fairly well known. They are probably not the genre novels a high schooler would prefer to read in their free time. I can't remember the last time I heard someone say, I can't wait to go home and read The Old Man and the Sea, but they are the novels taught in schools due to their literary value. A loose definition of literary value is a piece that has aesthetic, thematic, or historical value. This is a vague definition, but to give an example, the Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald is a highly considered American classic because Fitzgerald is said to be the voice of a generation, capturing the societal beliefs of his time and his work, as well as illustrating universal themes through beautifully worded prose. The novels that we read in middle and high school as a part of the English curriculum are novels guaranteed to be high in literary value. What I think is most important is that novels with literary value can build empathy within their readers. There have been many conclusive studies on this subject. In 2013, the American Psychological Association discovered that uh, imagining the scenes occurring while reading and mentalizing, defined as inferring the thoughts and feelings of the characters, caused an increase in empathy and behavior categorized as beneficial to society. Researchers at the New School published an article claiming that only literary, rather than nonfiction or genre pieces, improved this ability to understand others. As a culture, I believe that we have started to cease to view literature as significant as it becomes an increasingly esoteric field of study. The studies I have cited prove that it is not necessarily that as a society we should be reading more, although we should, but that's another talk entirely. The studies that I have cited prove that we should be paying attention to literature as the art form that it is. We should be reading books like Beloved that prompt difficult conversations about race and gender roles. We should be discussing characters, thinking about characters, feeling with characters who are people we never would have crossed paths with in real life, like Holden Caulfield or Tom Joad. Literature and the study of English give us the opportunities to learn in these ways to confront and discuss situations and concepts that may be unfamiliar yet equally as important to our own experiences. If reading in a classroom setting, you learn how to form, support, and express thoughts and feelings about pieces of text. This forces you to analyze characters' musings and actions, as well as teaches you how to properly express your viewpoints. These are skills that will be useful for years to come, improving both your communication and writing skills, for writing is heavily learned through examples of good writing. And, of course, being able to empathize with those around you will improve your relationship with friends and family and enable you to be careful judging those you do not know as well. We seem to have entered into a time where harsh words come before the consideration of their consequences, where total assumption of infallibility prompts anger against those who disagree, and where empathy and understanding fall last within the list of ways to interact with those who think differently than us. Now, when we are willfully forgetting literature, deeming it irrelevant or old-fashioned or boring, God forbid, now is the time that we need it the most. As a society, we need to know how to empathize and mentalize. There are many examples that can be found throughout history of novels changing the world with these concepts. 
Uncle Tom's Cabin, written by Harry Beecher Stowe, published in 1852, was called by Abraham Lincoln the book that started this great war, referring to the Civil War. The book shocked the public with its description of the horrors of slavery at the time, spurring on the abolitionist movement and aiding the beginning of the war. This is one of many novels that have had a great effect on society, others of which are shown here. Literature is a means of immersion into another's life, um, allowing us to see what someone else might be thinking and feeling, and allowing us to work our brains and hearts simultaneously. This gives it the unique power to reform society. True works of literature will always retain this power. In AP Latin this year, I translated the Aeneid, a book written in the BC that still has themes like legacy and heartbreak relevant to our culture today. Exposing students to works such as these encourages the, dis the discussion of these themes to continue and produces adults who are able to put themselves in someone else's shoes. Thanks to my English education, I will be leaving high school with a greater understanding of myself and humanity. To me, that proves that literature has not gone out of relevance, just out of style. It's time for us to bring it back. Thank you. <laughs>